Hello and welcome to the 25th tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series. In this part we're going to be looking at adding a convex shape. We'll be using the source code from the third tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. SFML provides functionality to create convex shapes. Basically we can specify points and SFML will join the points up and fill the color in. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. SFML actually had a particular class for convex shape, so you do SF convex shape, then you specify the shape name, I'm just going to call it shape, and now we specify how many points the shape is going to have. So when you shape dot set point count, I'm going to put six, and now we specify the point coordinates. So I'm going to do shape dot set point. And the first thing we specify is which point we're actually setting. And like pretty much everything else in computers, one second, this is too few, too many arguments. Oh, my bad, I've done get point count instead of set point count. I meant set point, not get point. Okay, for the set point, it first you specify which point you're setting. As most things in computers uh, start at zero, this is no different. So we, for this, it'll be zero, one, two, three, four, five. Zero being the first one, five being the last. So I'm going to put zero. SF vector to F. Now we specify basically the point. I'm going to put 40 and 70. I'm going to do this for all the points, but just to save some time, I'm going to copy and paste this for the six points now. Change this to one, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to change this to 60. I'm going to leave, actually leave this at 70. Change this to 200. Change the Y to 200 as well. Change this to 350. Change this to 300, change this to 300, and change this to 450, change this to 320, change this to 500. Finally, we just need to draw the shape. So if we just go down here and do window.draw, specify the shape, we call it shape. Now if we just run this application, we have our convex shape. Obviously, it doesn't look the best, but that's based on the points we've set. With a bit more experimentation, depending on what your game requires, you can create some pretty interesting shapes. Little thing to note, you can also specify the number of points within one line when you declare the convex shape. So, what you can do is, if we just comment this out a second, you can do this. Bracket 6, and if we run it, it will achieve the same result. It, now we have the same result, but we've just set the point count when we declared and initialized the convex shape. I'm going to leave this in so you can see the different ways to do it. One thing to note, it is very important to define the points of a convex shape, either in clockwise or anti-clockwise order. If you define them in a random order, the result will be undefined. That's just one little thing to know when you're using convex shapes. That's it for this tutorial. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at adding a line. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the recordings for source code will also be in the, in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.